What's up guys, this is Power Lighters back today, and we are going to be cleaning the Zippo lighter. This is how to clean your Zippo lighter um, pretty easily. Um, this will be pretty easy. All you're going to need, oh, by the way, I'm cleaning out the customized one that I just did um, yesterday, I believe it was. Let's see if we can't get it to focus here. Anyway, this is the lighter that I customized right here. So, this lighter is very cool. I also customized the insert. As you guys can see, maybe. Let's see if I can't get that in. There is a P on here, as you guys can see. Um, so this insert will go with this lighter no matter what. So, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take out your insert here and put your case aside because we're going to clean that in a second. Also, all I'm using is a couple of cotton balls, um, some, what do you call these, Q-tips, and just a little bit of water I have in here. So, um, basically what you're going to want to do is you don't have to disassemble your lighter at all. You can do all of this um, without disassembling your lighter. Now, um, I am actually going to um, disassemble it here. Maybe. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Um, I'm going to grab my multi-tool here. And we're just going to bend. Well, actually, I think we'll be fun like this. So, we're going to take a Q-tip, okay? And one of the most spots that you will get um, a lot of dirtiness is along this edge here from the flint. And um, inside this spring area and inside the chimney of course as that is a big place to um, get flint um, shavings also we're not going to be cleaning the inside of the insert today that will be in another one of my videos but it is a um, it could get gunked up depending on what type of lighter fluid you use I am using the um, Zippo premium lighter fluid as you guys can see I have two canisters of this stuff here um, let me, let me get that on video. I have two canisters, one big and one small. Use up the small one first, but, alright, so here we go. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take a, um, a Q-tip, and we're just going to clean this around air area here first. So we're going to dip it in water, and, um, Tracy and Pyro Pyramids, um, video on this, but keep one side dry, and we're just going to, um, Get that wet just right along here. Alrighty. Now we're going to take the dry side and try to get some of that gunk off. If this doesn't work, then you will possibly have to um, dismantle your lighter to get into the small crevices. I'm just going to take a dry one real fast and just go around this edge one more time. And there we go. So this part is actually um, very much clean. You guys can see it's really shiny. And then in here, it's not that shi shiny at all, as you guys can see. Which, that might go away, it might not. But you guys can see that this is actually very glossy now. And so, um, yeah. So that was basically that little crevice right there. And that's all you really need to do. Um, as mine isn't that gunked up, I'm just kind of showing you guys how to do it. So whenever your lighter gets gunked up, you can just do this. All right, so next spot is um, you're going to want to flip your um, your little spring here up, okay? And um, get underneath that little spring because eventually that could wear down the spring and it could... Um, lead to disaster of your lighter. Your lighter could just stop working all of a sudden. So we're just going to kind of get stuff out of there. Let's see here. Just kind of, as you guys can see, we're getting a lot of stuff out. This isn't a very dirty lighter, so it will not seem like I'm getting a bunch of stuff out, but I really am. Um, I can't really depict on camera how much stuff I'm getting out. It's, it's crazy. Um, But yeah, you guys can't really see that in there, but it is clean now. So um, now we're going to clean the chimney. For this, I was going to say don't do this, but um, I'm going to do it. 
So you're going to take your needle nose pliers or whatever you have, and you're just going to push your wick closer to the flint. Alright, so just, just like this. You can't really see it. But you see how my wick is pushed near to the flint wheel. Um, that is what we want. So now you're going to take another Q-tip, get it wet again, and just go around the edges of the chimney here. And then take the dry one and go along the edges right there. Get all of that stuff out. Alright, so there is all that stuff. You can see on the other side it's like that too. So that is the chimney. And just really scrub the chimney with your Q-tip that you have. Sorry, I'm not holding up to the camera that well. But there we go. And then you just take the dry side and just go over what you just did. And just make sure you got all the cotton out. Alright, so mine's looking pretty clean. Let's try to get some more of that stuff out. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty good. Um, you know what? We're going to change up this video. So we are actually going to take this um, Zippo apart real fast. So, um, fairly simple to take a Zippo apart. If you guys haven't seen my full fixing video, please go check that out. I believe I've done a um, repair video on this Zippo for the wick. It's actually not a Zippo lighter, but um, it lights very well now. Go check out my video on how I repaired this one. Anyway, back to this one. So, what you're going to do is just get a screwdriver out and loosen up that screw just enough so that you can undo it with your hands. I mean, you can undo it with the screwdriver, but personally, I think it's faster just to do this with your hands. So, there's your spring. Okay, so we got the spring out. Okay, and we're going to take the flint. Put this right there. All right, so there's the flint. And then we got to take this felt pad out, which can be done through various tools, but I'm just going to use a screwdriver bit here real fast. Alrighty, so I did just fill this up, so it might take a little bit to get it all out. Actually, I'm going to grab my second multi-tool here and just use the pair of um, pliers in this one just to get the rayon balls out. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of rayon balls in here. Uh, let's see, here's another one. This piece of that one. So there's there's a couple of them out. I'm gonna take the next one out. And we're gonna take this one out. And I also um, got this wick a while ago from a um, flea market, and they person that owned this Zippo before me does not look like they put the wick in correctly and the wick is awfully short not as short as my other one that I replaced which is actually this wick right here look how short that is it's dinky anyway so um let's put all these ram balls over here keep them separate keep all my parts organized here this isn't a part of the Zippo all right so now we have what the shell of the lighter is totally hollow nothing in it let's see all right so what i'm going to do is you're just going to take a um q-tip and i actually didn't get near the wheel inside of the chimney so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go around and then just go around again with the dry q-tip as you can see look at all that gunk on there if it'll focus but this is why you guys need to clean your Zippos out after a while. Because they get so gunked up um, that it will take a while to undo. So, now the inside of mine looks pretty clean. So I'm probably not going to do that. Um, my Zippo needs to be shined up a little bit um, with my Dremel tool. I'll do that eventually in one of my other videos. But um, I need a certain type of wax for that to do that. But as you guys can see, that is really shiny still. 
Um, but we're going to go around the chimney just a couple more times, you know, leave it clean. All right, so there you go. The inside of the ladder is fairly clean. Now, um, I did have, all right, so if this will fit, yes, it does. So basically what I want to do is I would want to shine the inside of the insert, but I'm not going to do that um, as my tool does not fit inside. Um, but this is the time to um, make sure that your scroll wheel works, that your flint wheel works, and just make sure that the whole thing is in real good condition. And yep, we looking all good. So this is the Pyro Pyramid Zippo lighter. Um, but, yep. All right, so now we're gonna put this all back together. So um, what I do first is I pack it, um, but I need to put the wick in. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna kinda mold it with my fingers here. You guys can see. Alrighty. We're gonna see if we can just push it in. Without having to do too much. All right, so we grabbed it through. And then we're just going to adjust it to the right height. All right, so that's perfect right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it like that. And then what you're going to do at this point is, um, which is one of the reasons why they didn't do this wick properly, is you got to push the wick down and against the side of your lighter. So I will show you how that is done here. Let's see. So you guys can see the process of it going. Let me shine a little light in there, but you guys can see the process of the wick going to the side. I also have like a paintbrush handle thing here just for packing and doing all this stuff again. So there we go. The wick is exposed. I will I need to push that in just a little bit more here. Alright, so that's perfect. So let's see if we can't just squish this down now. Alright, so there is our... You can't really see it. There is our wick in there, and it is all squished down. Let me flip this over so you guys can see how I bent the wick to the side. Now, after this step is done, you're going to put one of the rayon balls in. Um, I need to find the one that was behind the, um, what's it called? The flint thing. Oh, well, we'll do that in just a second. So you're going to put one of the round balls in and you're going to stuff it down, um, over that flint piece. All right. So, or not the flint piece, the, what's it called? Wick piece. So now you have a round ball and your wick to the side. So now you're going to... Um, bend the rest of this wick that you have over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this this time and go like this here. Alright, so now it should look something like this. You guys can see the wick in there. Um, so it should look something like that. And now you're going to put another rayon ball in. And put another rayon ball in. There we go. Um, there we go. Alright, so now we're going to try to stuff some of this stuff in. I have a little piece here that I could use um, for stuffing it in. Also, a uh, good um, what's it called? solution for a stuffing kind of tool thing would um, definitely be a uh, paper clip. Those are very valuable for use on lighters and they just come in handy like all the time. Alright, so now we're gonna put another round ball in. Get that little insert in there. You can kind of push this down if your fingers are small enough to fit in there. But pack it down fairly tight as you want to um, 
conserve all that cotton in there. So now I believe the rest of these can go in as they did come out of here. This will this step will take the longest as um when you unpack it the cotton does expand so because you're giving it room to expand. Um and so you need to pack all that cotton back down that you just pulled out. So there we go. Last piece. Um we could probably actually take some of this away. We need a let's get out a knife here. And we're just gonna kinda cut it here. Alright. So, what I'm going to do with this, is I'm just going to put it right here, as I did not spread this evenly, and so I just want to make this part even. Um, Alright, so last round ball here, you're going to just stuff this in. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on there, but that is what we are doing. We are just stuffing it in, and pushing it in. Once you get lighter fluid on this, it will um, it will sit down a little bit better. Don't put lighter fluid in it, though, when you are putting the round balls in, as it could light unexpectedly, and that would not be a good story to explain to people. All right, so there is our little hacking job in there. So it is all packed in. So now we need to... Um, Put the flint back in. Find the place where it looks most scratched off. And I'm actually going to use a tool for this because I don't really trust my hands. That much steadiness. Is it this side or was it this side? It was this side. So this side of the flint has um, more grooves and it's more shiny. So you basically you're going to put it into the flint hole. There we go. Alright, so it's in there. So now, a step I do, because um, I notice that sometimes it gets hard to light the lighter um, when you aren't, like, when, when you don't put in the flint correctly. So what I do is I give it a roll like this. It's not going to spark or anything because the flint does not have the spring there. But you do this a couple times, and that gets the flint back into the position that it was, and so it, therefore it is easier to light. So then you put your your spring back in here. Put that in here. Alrighty, so now, um, actually, no, don't put the screen spring back in yet, guys. I'm so sorry. Put the felt pad or filter, as some people might refer to it, as um, in first, and then put your spring in. Only then can you screw this back together. So we're going to screw that back together. Hopefully our hands can do it. Nope. Okay. Um, all right. Let me get a bigger screwdriver out here. Uh, this one's perfect. Okay. So here we go. Let's see here. Let's get it started with our hands and then just kind of screw it in once we get in there. All right. So as you see, I'm screwing it in. There we go. We're getting it screwed in nice and tight here. Don't strip this screw, though, because that would be so hard to replace. All right, so there you go. You just put this all back together, and now your felt pad lifts up, and some of the cotton wants to come out, but it will sit down with time. So there you go. You have your lighter insert back together. So now um, I have to adjust my wick again, as I did not do that correct the there we go so somewhat so let's see oh, okay let's right off the bat so as you guys can see it is lit and it actually works amazing um, for just putting the lighter or the wick back in so that is a good sign that your wick is actually a good wick if you can do all this stuff oh there it went out but if you can wiggle it around a little bit and it stays lit and you just put it back together, that means that it is amazing. Um, it is an amazing wick. And um, mine is just level with my chimney, which is just what you want. 
So, okay, so we're going to put the insert off to the side, and we have this. So this is where the cotton balls come into play. Um, what I would do is I would just dip one in the water, and then it will literally soak it up throughout the whole thing. Um, and then if you want to clean the outside of your insert, you know, just rub it around a little bit. You can also do this with just a wipe or whatever you have around your house. But, um, so there you go. Let's, let's take another one out here. And you can also use these cotton balls to um, repack your lighter. I would not recommend it, though, as um, they are very... Let's just say they're too easy to um, have fuel in them, so they're too loose, they're not packed enough. So um, you'll just burn through lighter fluid like crazy fast. Um, if you want to, at this point, you can um, take another Q-tip here. And get one side wet, and then go on the inside of your lid. Don't clean the insert area, as um, you don't want any water getting into your insert. So just clean um, just the lid here. So we're going around, we're just kind of cleaning it up, you know. Oh, wow, that looks shiny. So you're just going to clean this up just a little bit. And um, dirty lids can be a cause of a dirty lighter at the same time. So, you want to keep your lid clean. So that is what we are doing. Alright, so look how much gunk we got out of just the lid. Like, that's crazy. So, the lid is all sparkly clean now. Look at how much that shines. Look at that. That's insane. How much gunk was in there. Alright. So now you're just going to put your insert back into your case, and you have your lighter back, and it is all clean. So this was a cleaning tutorial on how to clean your lighter, and it will work pretty much every time, and you will get amazing results um, from your lighter after you clean it, as it's brand new, basically, um, if you do a good job. But um, I wanted to shout out a few people here um, in this video. I wanted to shout out Zippo Fanatic 777 Outdoors. He is an amazing lighter collector, and um, he does etching um, videos on stuff that he etches into his lighters, and it is crazy. My guy is insane at um, in uh, at etching into um, different lighters, and it's just crazy to see him do it. Um, I just tried to engrave this lighter so you guys can see um it turned out all right i would say that i need to touch it up just a little bit the flame is a little bit iffy but i will touch that up um in a later video and so yeah i also wanted to shout out um pyro pyramid as he was um we we have a business going together and i am is basically his second youtube channel and um I help him um, fix lighters and do all that sort of stuff. And he is amazing. This is his logo, actually, that I emblemed onto this lighter. If you see this, follow him, like his video, and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you needed any cleaning tips in this video, just skip around, honestly, um, to different parts of it. Um, that would help me out a lot. And thank you, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.